Oh, oh man. man, we'll see it though. Same Valentine, like we said, one of our most consistent leadoff hitters here. Gonna be rocking the Jill. Actually, almost leads off with the happy birthday. Instead, it's just gonna be the launcher. PA Sword starting things off strong, obviously, with that Wesker. Yeah, for those of you not familiar with PA Sword, obviously, one of the founders of Rise of Rookies. You know, if you don't know what that is and you're trying to get into Marvel, you might wanna find out. They do a lot of stuff to try to get new people into the scene. I see y'all in the chat, by the way. Appreciate all of y'all. We're having a great day. You see there, just using that somersault a couple times in a row in really nice places. Able to stop the maximum Wesker. Able to find the clean touch. Chris is able to get the full confirm off the, off the Molotov. Also, for those of you that are watching this on YouTube, this is obviously the first match. Today is Proxy's birthday. So make sure you put in the comments, happy birthday, Proxy. Show him some love. Let him know you appreciate him. Or you hate his guts, either way, I don't care. Comments are good for the algorithm either way. I read all the comments. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, good or bad, I'll see it. Yeah. Yo, X-Man Chris coming through with the sub. Appreciate you, homie. Oh, he's scared to let it go. He's going to shoot himself. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, dude, he's waiting on it. Takes the shot, is able to hit the assist, but that's not going to do too much for Strange. But a drop combo still in this. Hey. C Racker with another hundred dollar contribution to the match arena. That is crazy. That is crazy. Oh, Dark Hole actually saves the day on that one. Sets up the trap, and here comes the projectile. Yup, is able to get the freeze and take the kill. Just one hit required. Oh, I think he might have been able to get a throw on that situation off that block, maybe. That's what it looked like. Yeah, yeah. He's still in this. He's still in this. All right, he just needs one solid hit on Chris. And there. Oh, that's how we get started, huh? We got the meter. Didn't want to spend it just yet, though. I think a spend would have been good there. Mm, I know he wanted killer. Yeah, I missed out on his DP. Here comes the super just to try and go for the chip. Okay, you got to teleport here. Teleport to disappear. Oh, it didn't matter. How did, how did that avoid it? I was thinking the exact same thing as you. Oh, no. <laughs> Spit fire. Spit on that thing and Dormammu dies. Uh, Yejin, the homie. I appreciate you. Thank you very much, man. Again, I don't normally shout out follows. That was a really well timed. Shouts to Hulk Tua. Oh, shit. <laughs> strong, very strong one. <laughs> oh. Okay, for the double maximum Wesker, but Somersault continues to beat it out clean. After the super, is going to go for the DHC. Doesn't pop up high enough. Actually, it does get the OTG with the, uh, the grenade. I didn't know the third grenade. Did they all OTG? I pride. You, you asking the wrong guy. <laughs> I've never seen this game in my life. To be perfectly honest, I know it was a couple of seconds ago, but watching Jill do that level one super was like, oh, yeah, I forgot. That's what Jill's level one super looks like. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like, when do we get to see it? <laughs> oh, clean hit again. Sword, we gotta finish here. No, dude. Bad Lust Envy, 777. Thank you very much again for the contribution to that match, Arena. Thank you. Uh, PA Sword definitely looking better in this game, too. Maybe it was those stream nerves. Jab twice in a row, was able to find those hits, but couldn't quite get it. On pass, finds the jump loop looking very, very strong here. The potential for the comeback is here for St. Valentine. Nah. nah. <laughs> You're a Jill player. You don't deserve the win. I wanted to believe. Pick the character with two L's in your name. You got to hold that. It's going to take it to one to one, though. Sword looking much better on that one. Dormammu feels like he's doing the heavy lifting right now. Strange getting some errant touches. Wesker. Hasn't really been activated yet. No, shout out to the homie Jizzler coming through with the sub. I love Somersault so much. That's that's not even just my favorite Joe move. That's one of my favorite moves in this game. Okay. 
Spitfire covering the ground a little too well. Can't quite close the distance. Ends up finding the low. I feel like St. Valentine is struggling just a little bit being disciplined on the defense, right? Like he's definitely getting up the first chance he gets, and PA Sword is right there with the lows. He crouching heavy, he's able to link into the launcher, but he gets the stagger straight afterwards. Yo, WD21 coming through with a gifted sub. Thank you so much. Ramora also coming through with a gifted sub. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Ramora. Yo, Ramora coming through with a gifted sub for my it. Whoa, 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 my D is stuck in the toilet. All right, all right. I see we starting early today. I see. All right. Also, Hope Tua coming through with the sub of their own. Thank you so much, Hope Tua. I'm not really big on the Hope Tua meme. You know what I mean? You know why? Because I'm bitter. I, I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> you get it, you get it. Yeah. I respect that. <laughs> uh, Team Super cooked them up. PA Sword, like you said, maybe the nerves are just out of the way, looking significantly better. Oh, General Reaction was in here too. Shout out to the homie General Reaction, bro. That's my dog. By the way, I think uh, we are going to be out of town next week, guys. So uh, we're going to have in some uh, commentators from the online world and one of those is going to be General Reaction. That's our homie right there. That's one of my favorite Marvel commentators that isn't me. Um, sorry. Uh, hey, listen. <laughs> it's me first. <laughs> I respect that. Yo, Bubble Bus, thank you so much for the full year. Shout out to the Brazil Marvel scene. You know, we love that. Okay, PA Sword. He's been putting a two St. Valentine since that first game, right? So he's going to switch off that Jill and go for that She-Hulk instead. Try to give PA Sword a bigger challenge. Yeah, I feel like Jill was doing so well against Wesker, though. But, I mean, She-Hulk seeming to do just as well. <laughs> okay, after the snap. Absolutely. Oh, wow. As soon as you push block that, that is guaranteed. That's Lin coming through. Subscribed six months in advance at tier one. Commitment. Oh shit, it is September. September, I think. No, that's next. That's actually two days from now. Two so. days from now, close. Whatever, whatever. Close enough, close enough. <laughs> yeah, big shout outs though. Six months, sad. That is a lot of commitment, bro. I've been, I've been married and I don't commit that hard. Oh, nice pickup. Opportunity. Gets a command throw from so far. The She-Hulk swap has just been the answer. That's been finished two bars. Yeah, I mean, change of pace definitely makes a difference. And that tricky mix-up on the incoming earlier, and you definitely can get it in your head. <laughs> and watch the She-Hulk win screen, too. Right, two games in a row, you're getting your, <laughs> you're getting your ass beat, and then all of a sudden you get a perfect? That's crazy. That's turning it around. But the launcher commits to the super, is going to be safe full screen. Actually, it's a hit in the end. The shield, was she all crouching? I thought that looked up. Okay, I like, if she was crouching, that happens. You cannot crouch her in that super if you're not in blocks there. Oh my god, PA Sword is a genius. This is the Miss Cleo of Marvel, bro. How did he. <gasps> okay, never mind. Miss Cleo would have dropped that combo too, though. He probably doesn't play. Oh. My, my dude is moving right now. Oh, no, you expected to get hit. That sucks. Uh, Bastion won too many times. The tough one here. Bionic Arm connects for the second time. Oh, this is looking real bad here for PA Sword. Railgun, thank you so much for coming through with the sub. Six months at a time. Wow. That's crazy. Another six months. Or... Yeah, thank you very much. As well as Rel and Mad Lust Envy. Appreciate you both for the gifted subs. Thank you, as always. Yo, Mad Lust Envy coming through with a gifted sub for Idon, though? My homie? Oh, fucking Claire actually kills the assist here. Trying to hold off a bit, finds the throw. Not going to catch up the damage. I think it's very smart, especially being able to get the tag. Give your best team order here. Here to go straight into Chaotic Flame. Is going to trade with the grenade, but that's okay. Well worth the damage. 
But unfortunately, the throw is able to time everything out perfectly as Rel comes through again, this time with one for his own. Prime, thank you very much. Oh, well, in studio today. Appreciate you, buddy. Clean launcher to answer the Chris. I mean, that's one thing you always have to remember about Dormammu is that he does have like a genuinely strong traditional anti-air in that S. Now trying to set up for the chip. Only one bar available. Does have Bionic Arm, but might not kill. Miss inputs with the command throw. Still just finds a launcher. Ooh, like a Hulk mix up. Oh, drop combo from both players here. Sword has to block for his life now. Tro actually sets up the frame trap perfectly. Doesn't cancel. Could have Bionic Arm that. Could have armed. You could have done it twice. Two buttons. Oh, two buttons could have won the game there. If you're going to pick Spencer and you're going to be in those 1v1 situations, you cannot be gun shy. You have to be willing to spend the arm. All right, all right, all right. Another match coming up here. I'm seeing Captain Troy. Okay, it works out here. Oh, clean hit right away. X Men Chris coming through with that Hulk. Oh, boy, you know how to get me excited, brother. Rocket Punch Assist. Dude, and the cleanup here with the Sentinel. Should be able to just get that tag straight back in. Now, LT's probably not in the bracket today, but LT in the chat talking about Captain Troy going to free up X-Man Chris. I don't know about all that. This is not looking too good right now. Oh, no, he hit him with the J-Wong. This is why you don't support your homies, because they always let you down. Got him again with a clean touch. Typhoon for the pickup. It should be just enough here with the Team Super. Oh, no, he was able to land in time, but it's still mashed. Great pick up there and a good adjustment on the combo. I know it looks terrible. It's an ugly combo, but it doesn't matter because it worked. He was definitely about to drop it. Yeah. Eccentric asked, why do we think Rocket Punch makes Tonk so excited? Because it don't look that long, and then, you know, and then when you use it, it get long. You know what I mean? I can't believe it. That was a grower. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Oh, God. Super number one, super number two. Should be enough. No, not even close, actually. Tripping already. I love that LT is talking shit about Chris. Not because he hates Chris, but because Captain Troy is his boy, right? Because I just now, now I'm rooting for X-Man Chris. He already uses Rocket Punch. This on Sentinel should be just enough here. Doesn't throw the extra fireball, but it should still be good. Ah, oh, Captain Troy got lucky. Come on, Chris. Pick it up. Oh, business just picked up. <laughs> oh, let me see that sweet, sweet thing. That's what I'm talking about, Rocket Punch. Oh, no. All up to the Akuma here. I do not like his chances. Yeah, no, this team does really, really well against Akuma. Somebody right. asked, uh, so LT said, you X Wolverine? Of course. When you're using this team, you always just use the X Factor. If you can't get the kill otherwise, because you don't really have a true anchor, right? Yeah. And here we go. X-Man Chris evaporated Captain Troy team. 20 seconds or less for your money back. Plus, depending on your opponent's team, Lariat is really good at stopping a lot of these X Factor anchors. Certain characters can obviously space it out, but like against Akuma, like how's he really going to get there with the threat of Lariat? Yeah, no, you can just sit there and wait. <laughs> you just sit there and wait. Even Akuma is so, like, he's small, but he's big all at the same time, right? It's just like Rocket Punch. <laughs> That's not what I mean, but... <laughs> but, like, when he when he does the uh, when he does his crouching moves, he just can't crouch underneath Lariat just right. Mm. But I get what you're saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh, there we go. Good X Factor here to get rid of Wolverine. Because if you don't kill and you leave Sentinel out there against Wolverine, Wolverine does eat Sentinel up. Okay, okay, that's a cute little mix-up attempt. Captain Troy not even blocking a hard tag. This is over. Ooh, <laughs> that was actually a really nice confirm, though. Mm, I don't believe in it. Yeah, I knew he didn't have it. I knew he didn't have it. Oh, no, he might have it, though. 
Honestly, I've always been a Cap Detroit hater. <laughs> Impeccable timing. One bar still available. Oh, you got to be careful how you're swinging those H's. I know you're, you're anti to tech the throw, but you can't overcommit. Okay, okay. X Factor's out, though. Here we go. Hard drive. Busting up Storm. No, you're dead. You're dead. Hulk is dead, too. Go ahead. Oh, no. Why did you jump? You had Gamma Crush. You could have done. Oh. <laughs> in the moment made a rash decision there. And if you're gonna jump, you might as well just super jump to try it. There is a window in the top left of the corner where it actually doesn't hit. You could have super jumped out of it, maybe clapped up at the top. If I, oh yes. If I look like I'm showing favoritism, it's just because I'm uh, I'm rooting against whoever LT is rooting for in the chat. And also, you know, Hope Brothers. We gotta stick together. Hey, Captain Troy, using the strategy of his own. Recognizing that the point character is down. Get that left, right, strong mix, but drops the combo. You dropped the Wolverine combo? Oh, Akuma about to get blown up, though. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. We with the command throw for style. That build meter. Oh, yes. Just run into my lariat. Just like that. One more guess, potentially. And he gets Hagar in. Oh, yes, sir. Put that pipe on our forehead is done oh what are you doing what are you doing not the combo you had her dead the rights storm needs a lot of hits for this though okay okay we're above it uh okay that's fine that's fine oh my god rocket punch for the pickup again oh my god lt you about to break the chat messages record in one night bro oh this might be it Oh, oh. goes for a really awkward combo there. Yeah, Captain Troy able to get the easy pick up there since he got that off the hit while he was in super jump height. Okay, the dash under. Are you going to X? No, you're not going to X. So you're going to have to reset Hagar here, which seems dangerous. No, the hard pack. Captain Troy was ready this time. Yo, shout out to Dropout FGC coming through with the 18 months now. Thank you so much for being with us. Pick up into the team super, lots of damage, and gets the kill on Lariat. Damn, that's crazy. Look at the, the amount of damage on that health. Okay, I like that. I like that. Rocket punch in the super. No, that's the wrong super. Oh, that's all right, though. We're, we're on top. We're on top. High level bait from your boy. Two meters available. It's X Factor 2, too, so. Oh, my God. You cannot. Guy's got no aim. Oh, Akuma's dead though off of this. And he's got another meter. I would not have done that super. It's all right though, it worked out. This Captain Troy sucks. He saw his X. Good movement there. Roll tags oh. again. Yeah, that's like I said. No, raw launcher. You lost the raw launcher from Storm? Oh, no, dude. Just like this, one more interaction potentially. Oh, raw launcher again. This might be the end. Yeah, Captain Troy won that one. All right, all right. Good fight, though. Good fight. I guess everybody gets lucky. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah, Southpaw's not here because he was drafting for his fantasy league. Yo, we got the real Kenny Bo playing the regular Hulk? That's what we're talking about. I sound kind of sexist when I said it that way. Regular Hulk as, as, instead of She-Hulk. I actually sounded mass sexist. I apologize. But, uh, yeah, that's that's crazy. Couple off of that. <clears throat> super into super. Should be more than enough. DHC's in a really awkward way, though, but it still combos. It does connect. Faded Revolution. That's the first time I've seen that one. I have not seen that name in bracket before, but I'm always excited to see new names in bracket. Yeah, so far it's been looking pretty good here on Team Nemo. Is it Nemo or Nemo? I think it's Nemo. I just I was thinking about fish. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Ooh, tries to set up for the reset there. Kenny, unfortunately, holding up for the second time. Another dropped combo from Nova, though. 
Ouch, the anti-air command throw. Off the wall, applying good pressure, finds the overhead, links into the low, and Kenny should be able to take the kill off, but doesn't even need to spend the bar. Oh, I love it. The boldness from Kenny Bow to assume that Fader Revolution wasn't going to push any buttons on the way in. Just like that, down to the man in the mid, the legend. Unfortunately, not even gonna have a chance. The jumping down heavy cleans it up straight away. Super into super, and that will do it. Yeah, DAC is easy. Big timer said Tong never gives an F anyway. He could care less about insults. I generally don't care about insults. You know, because it's for, if it's from you guys, you guys are the homies. Well, that's just us talking shit. Now, if it's somebody new in chat, and they start talking shit, yeah. and they don't know me like that, yeah. Probably messaged once or twice before. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if I know your name in chat, on YouTube comments, whatever, then I don't really care. Okay, okay. Mm. The pressure is non-stop. That didn't even combo their overhead in the crouch medium. More than an uptick kill. Had to go for the reset there. Oh, and high low finds this mark again. Kenny is getting caught holding up non-stop right now. Needs to be more careful, especially against Nova. I mean, that's how I feel like 90% of Nova's hits are like air throws and him just sniping you out before you even leave the ground. Look, I'm a Kenny Bow fan myself, but I don't think this Hulk is winning. Even though Kenny Bo did say that we were all just racist for no reason the, uh, last week. I don't even know what that was about. Uh, he's winning this. I don't care. I don't think he is. I, that's a whole comeback on three characters? A good X Factor? Oh, my God. Fader Revolution will have to make some huge mistakes here. That was almost one right there. Called the Bolts. Should be okay, though. Just barely connects with the S. That was really far away. Even things up, looking significantly better. Like caught again this time. Hulk is able to save the day. <laughs> DP beats it clean. Should be able to get the OTG into the crawler assault. Is Spider Man the anti Nova tech? Oh, he did the dash under with Gamma Wave Assist. I, first of all, you never see a mix-up like that. Because who's playing Hulk and Spider-Man together, right? <laughs> Yo, Ronan Healy with the $10 donation to us. The only fantasy is Southpaw thinking his league is going to do good. Yeah, that's kind of cold. I love it. I respect that. I love it. Wow, slides on in, finds the crouching heavy. Rocket, we push this though. It's just gonna go crawl assault straight away. Yo, it's South Paul's bird. I mean, it's not South. Paul. I keep getting y'all mixed up. Look, you guys are both white. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, it's Proxy's birthday today, so any direct contribution, any direct donations to the stream, is just gonna be part of Proxy's birthday fund today. All right. Oh Jesus Christ! And Proxy got ten dollars today. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Arm comes through, gets the hit, finds the overhead, and gets the happy birthday. Damn, Fader Revolution celebrating on your behalf, huh? Oh no, he could have punished there. Kennyvo just keeps doing raw launcher. No respect. Okay, yeah, found him with a grapple, OTG. The old pilot asked, why is Tony not getting streamed? That's a good question. Yo, let's do something about that. You know, Sonda Wolf, thank you so much for the $5 contribution to the match Reno as Kenny Bo takes the lead here. Oh. After the DP, don't, things don't quite work out. Is able to secure the air throw. Great jump there. 
Shen Kenny is just getting in trouble. One thing that you taught me really early in my Marvel career is you can, you can never jump without a plan. And I feel like that's what's happening a lot to Kenny right here. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people jump for no reason. That's how they get air thrown so easily. Okay. Flips on in for a couple times in a row. Oh my god, we're jumping with a plan this time, and it is too small. Just hit a couple times in a row. Crawler assaults off the OTG and is very easily able to kill with just the one meter invested. Double gamma charges. Trying to keep him contained in this corner. And again, been ridiculous using the projectile assist from Spider Man. DC should could do though. Pro coming through. Appreciate you a lot, man. Five months. Thank you. After the teleport. Doesn't get much. Just kind of stuck in the corner. Hasn't had good timings of X Factor and using push block to get away from Spider Man. Which, to be fair, Spider Man can be an incredibly difficult character to push block and get away from if you don't have experience in the matchup. <laughs> Neither of those hits. Second one actually does the hard knockdown after Crawler Assault. I completely forgot because I knew it did the, the wall bounce, but I forgot that it's a hard knockdown. There we go. General reaction playing as Hulk stuff here. Going up against Pass My Prime 29, who I'm being told is actually Priest, Evo finalist. You guys remember from back in the day, obviously one of the best Modox have ever played this game. That might hit? Yes. Yeah, of course, doesn't care about shield, bro. Oh, it went back and it smacked him. Dude, that was actually genius. Really unfortunate the missiles actually caught up, though. Yo, Knights Forever coming through with $5 contribution. That's a good game. Ooh. Right through again, Gamma Charge making its money. Oh, wow. What an air throw, but he didn't capitalize on it. Catacoin said Priest has a MODOK. Priest was the MODOK for a long time. Priest was like one of two MODOKs that was like showing out with the character for a long time. Him, yeah. and, him and Fruitsy. I would say he was definitely one of the best, if not the best MODOK to have played this game. Yeah. So that chase down though. Obviously it's Magneto, not a slouch either. It's like really good movement. Now, how many other MODOKs top aided an Evo other than Fruitsy and uh, Priest? An Evo? Yeah. None. That's it. That's it, right? Yeah. Oh, gravity squeeze. Good damage coming out here. Yo, actually, it was Mad Lust Envy gifting that sub. Thank you so much, Mad Lust Envy. Appreciate the support. And Kidman coming through as well. I don't know if I missed that earlier. My memory is bad. I had two shots. Double shout out. Was there a, wasn't there a Mexican player who top aided Evo with MODOK and Captain America? That's Fruitsy. Yeah, it was Fruitsy and, and Priest were the only two MODOKs yeah. to get a top eight. Another gravity squeeze to clean it up. Modok, unfortunately, doesn't get the work done, but Magneto damn sure will. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he plays um, uh, the capture assist with Magneto, too, for extensions. Yo, Kidman coming through with a gifted stuff. This one for Steph Com. Oh, that's the big pulse there. Damage charge ain't going through that one. Trying to close the distance as best he can, but getting chipped out. I like this adjustment here from Priest. Less Dorito, more just lasers. It is a multi-hitting projectile already to be able to stop Hulk. Oh, and the Hagar hitbox was still out there, so it did hit Magneto just a little bit, which is cute, but doesn't do anything. Sentinel, this is just a nightmare matchup here, especially with missiles. I have to look for the rocket punch, it seems. Yeah, and you can see even Priest was ready for it there. Center Reaction had the right idea, was going to try and go for the rocket punch to get through the Dorito. Gets cooked up for his troubles. Got that big Dorito once again, and Hagar, just no chance in this one. Would be one of the miracle comebacks from a Hagar ever in TNS, but no reason to even hype it up anymore. Your boy is dead. Oh, 
full extension. I think that Modok is super cool, and I will say that if he just didn't look like that, I would probably play him. I just, I just can't get over. <laughs> I just can't get over what Modok is. Super comes out, gets the hit on one, just barely picks up the other, but he misses his Gamma Wave. Ah, finds the launcher, pops the X-Factor, back in this game in a hurry. <laughs> Somebody call me a headist? What does that mean? <laughs> Gamers? <laughs> oh, finds the low once again. Sentinel, he's in trouble. <laughs> Link backwards, just trying to escape. Push blocks correctly, had the exact right idea there to be able to carry through. Actually finds the pile driver. Crouch is too low under the drones. One of the strengths of this team is still being able to play it with Hagar. You, uh, you essentially have two points. It can be a little dangerous to get into your second point, but. Ah, uh, and see on the whip command throw, Priest thinks he has an opportunity there. Tries to take advantage. Go for the air throw of his own. Doom, well known that he's the best grappler in this game. Ooh, surprising to go for the throw on that one. A little too far this time. Super into nothing. Oh, uh, he definitely meant for Spear Flame there. Three meters burnt for nothing and gets bonked on the top of the head. That is a cleanup. Ready? Fight. On the clap. And the switch to Magneto on point has been looking significantly better too, especially with having the Modok beam behind you. Yeah, I mean, I do feel like Magneto can really navigate these waters against home. Especially when you have missiles. Modok, on the other hand, just gets bought by things like Hagar. Just 25% life left. Two meters available potentially to be able to get the stop. Ends up just finding the low. Nothing complicated required. Up the ball through here, jumping S, forces the push block. Couldn't jump high enough though, had the right idea for the punish. Gonna find that throw. Difficult situation for general reaction. Keeps feeling like he needs to be in the air to have more room to roam. Unfortunately, that assist is just not getting him the mileage that he's looking for. Nice block on the crouching medium. Drive just barely connects, but no X Factor able to be spent at that point. Okay, double jump is good. Good timing on the call of the Lariat, too, but missiles would have broken up the combo even if he had found the launcher. The ultimate insurance policy, but a dropped combo again from Priest. Gonna leave that door open once again. Gravity Squeeze is gonna slam it shut immediately. That was sick confirmed. Please be able to finish this. That was so cool. It was too far. That's okay. The zoning continues. Free should be able to lock this one up. This is like one of the most hopeless matchups for Hagar, man. <laughs> yeah, even with X Factor here, yo, he might have a chance though. We're in the corner now. Okay. If you can mix Magneto, smart things. More things from Priest here, just holding that meaty. He knows that if he doesn't double jump, dash, or push any buttons, nothing bad could happen. I was gonna say, once he gets out of that corner, he's able to call the missiles a little more liberally too. And that should do it. I mean, I was gonna say, even if that doesn't connect, he has three meters, he can just go shockwave a couple times in a row. Hagar, no chance to make it back on that one.
All right, finally, Corky J able to play, and play he does. Gets the first hit here against Idon. This is the Justin Wong killer right here. Fortunately, <laughs> he's about to learn to do an infinite. Yeah. Full circle, you know? Idom beats J Wong, Corky J beats Idom, but using the Iron Man Infinite? That makes sense. I would be extremely disappointed if this Infinite didn't have a light punch in it. I'll just say that. It doesn't. It does. On the mountain. <laughs> we don't have light punches and light kicks here. It's important for the culture, I guess. Oh, fish hook. Able to stop her right as she tries to get underneath. This is over now. Corky J had a nice run. What? And it's over? That's a good 12 seconds. See if you know what you're talking about here. I mean, technically, they have the same assist. I mean, the same team setup, right? Horizontal beam type assist with teleporting character. Dude, his defense, that push block was genius to nullify the cross-up attempt. And he goes talking Flair for that extra little bit of layers on the mix-up. Able to get his charges for free. Oh, just missed. Doesn't matter, though. Gets the air throw. He's going to be able to pick it back up here. Oh, we're exploding. Dark holing. Damn, cute extension there. I love the X-Factor. I told you, bro. It was a good attempt. Fight! Oh, crouching heavy slide was a little too far. Hammer hits behind and finds the knockdown. A little too late to combo, but that's okay. Finger into the follow through, more than good enough. Now I gotta wonder if Porky J will even get another character in this set. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. Idom, Idom gave up one character in game one. He might not give up another one, all right? Porky J is a great player. I think he's... He's one of the best low-tier heroes in the game. Oh, drop combo, opens the door, dash into level three. X-Factor has to be spent. That, I, that was so far. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he grabs him from a different zip code into the super standing light afterwards, just goes for the meaty. That jumping S finds its mark for the second time in a row. Yeah, he just threw that character away off that hard tag, bro. Plus having Strange, being able to transition into Strange from just about anywhere, any place in your combo, just guarantees your damage. Okay, off the air throw. Iron Man sucks so much. I told you, no characters. That is a crazy confirm up an air to air hit with a projectile. Fortunately, the scaling put him in a weird spot, couldn't finish. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. He's going to lead him to a TAC potentially. Oh, Team Super. Oh, if he DHC, I think you're right. I think no characters. <laughs> I think that DHC was it. Look, I don't want to be right. I just know these players. I know the characters. I know the situation. And, uh, yeah, I know Quirky J's not going to get any more characters. Cross up Lance for the second time, finds the charge. That little extension with Dante, that's harder than it looks. Timing it with the jam session is difficult. I have no faith in Tony. I gotta be honest. I think this is his best chance. I think he still has X Factor on deck. If he gets a hit, yeah, X Factor into the kill. I think it's uh, Bolt Assist is gonna blow him up though. Opportunities. Idom is giving no. Dude, he's just giving nothing up. Playing so safe. Right now, Idom is trying to avoid getting hit by a repulsor. He knows he can't just try dash in. 
Right. Oh no, you just dash up to get hit low? To get tickled? Dude, that's the extra hard part too, is that Iron Man's grounded movement even is not very strong in that regard. He has like a very awkward dash time. I'm glad y'all were able to pull five dollars together. Thank you so much for the sub. Oh, uh, dude, is that centric? Hell yeah. Based off against JC. This is a good match. Top eight quality stuff here in the pools right now. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while since I've gotten to see Eccentric play a little bit. You know, this is my favorite Canadian. My girlfriend number two. So, I mean. I'm <laughs> chilling. All right. You know, he's becoming less of my favorite Canadian, though. We got to watch the Morgan Infinite. You know, we'll take this time to wish Proxy another happy birthday. Like I said, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you leave a comment in the chat saying for happy birthday, Proxy, or F you, Proxy, however you feel about him. We don't care. Comment's a comment, you know? <laughs> Either way, it's good to hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mrs. Ketchum there in the corner trying to find the instant overhead, but Chun-Li's rushdown just not quite as good as that runaway. She is so good at counterpunching, but it's very difficult to, like, force engagement. Especially against Cap. Never mind. It's, she bodies Cap. It's free. I, I don't think anybody is that strong as Morgan. <laughs> like, you're right. 100% Cap is better than some. Better than most even. But, yeah. It's still Morgan at the end of the day, right? Mm. All up to the man, the myth, the legend. Victor Von Doom, unfortunately... No chance on that one. X-Factor is popped out. One hit standing heavy was to pull him down into the crouching heavy? That was a sick way to regulate your combo. I, I don't know what Eccentric doing right now. <laughs> he awesome some stuff. If that was for what I think it was, that was super sick. I would like to give him the benefit of the doubt. These players are better and smarter than me. Eccentric is definitely next level for sure. But JC is pretty strong himself. Like I said, he's done fairly well here at TNS over the past couple years, and uh, he's not going to let Eccentric have it free. His team might be a little too fair, though, for Eccentric. I don't know. Ooh, and the fake TAC reset into the TAC, getting the down, but misses the level three. Ooh, that is huge there. You lost all your meter for Phoenix. And also, Morgan needs some meter every once in a while, too. I really like the idea of trying to spend that there to try and get aggressive and get rid of Dormammu, who is absolutely the best anti-Phoenix tech you have on this team. But Oh, just missed the launcher connection there. Artag's in the captain. I think this only works out if Eccentric is still frustrated about that level 3 drop, right? If he is, captain could potentially blow him up. If he stays patient and calm, he should be okay. Yeah, looking like he's uh, he's right in there. He's able to find the drain in the middle of the combo as well. Air throw almost goes his way, but JC will better on that one. And we're going to DAC right in the stalking flare there. Set up the incoming against Chun-Li. Oh, we had, the, we had the incoming mix. We dropped it. Sorry, I thought we got three other hits afterwards. Why not? Oh, uh, so just trying to jump out of there. Can't quite escape. Phoenix on the way in. Almost guaranteed five bars at this point, though. I don't think there's anything you could do to kill her in time. Yo, Kibo, thank you so much for coming to with the sub. Been with us for six months. Appreciate it. Phoenix has five meters here, so Eccentric definitely still ahead, in my opinion. I like that JC does have meter in preparation. Oh, but she's going to be right behind. No, actually, the hitbox hits from behind as well. And I think that pop might stop Dormammu's stalking flare, and it does. Unfortunate timing for JC there. Yeah, the second meter spend attempt gets stuffed. X-Factor's still available, but you have to block. <laughs> the crouching lights from Phoenix. Oh! Holy. Landed a lucky hit there, but didn't capitalize off of it. Eccentric's going to finish it off. Dude, I thought he had it. He hit the crouching medium. Oh, a tough situation. Ends up not quite going his way. That is two games straight now for Eccentric. Starting star, obviously very good for ignoring those projectiles here. Chun-Li loves to walk behind that fireball, just like she does the Street Fighter, but not nearly as effective against the, 
<laughs> the whole power of the United States military. <laughs> I'm still baffled from the last game because almost everything went JC's way, right? I mean, Eccentric missed a level three. He lost both characters. But, I mean, that's the power of Phoenix for you, you know? Yeah, you just cannot make mistakes here. That double jump, again, really well informed in the matchup. Tries to low crush with the dash, ends up finding the standing low. Hmm. And just tries to hold up after the overhead there. Uh, JC was going to recommit, it looks like. Okay, jump H was a little too far. Again, having to block a decent amount of fireballs here, but how do you kill Morgan and Chun Li without committing your meter? You really need to pop Phoenix with a stalking flare out. Seems to be the win con here. It's a good way to start. Rose just sends the bird kick, and because Chun Li moves so far forward during those combos, is able to completely escape the attempt with the mix. All right, which way we're we gonna pop her? Does he have a strategy? Oh, that's not the best strategy. Okay, here we go. The DHC and the stalking flare though. That should help. And they're having the block here and gets chipped out. Doesn't even do anything. No X Factor. Just stands there. Very demure. Very mindful. And other Phoenix is mashing light. My Phoenix. <laughs> very demure. <laughs> very mindful. We block. <laughs> Fortunately, that's going to make it 2-1. to one. That's not what you want to see to start this. Oh, and that's also not how you want to start game four here. JC Break definitely helps. Oh, okay. We're trying to go for some fancy stuff there. Does get stuffed out though. Imagine how long you have to be mashing for a TAC counter to get a TAC counter that late into it. Like you were definitely in there. I respect that. Wow, the charging star! But it hits too high. Can't get the follow-up. That was looking good for JC for a second here. Oh, and it's looking good again. No, but the drop with Dormammu. And that just might be the end here. TAC tries to go for a little bit of an extension. Doesn't work out, but that's okay. Phoenix is in. Not a lot working out here for JC. He's dropping a lot of combos at crucial moments. That was a hell of a sequence there. Two situations in a row where JC was pronounced dead at the scene, to be honest, and somehow gets away from it. Oh, uh, and JC's manage. Oh my god, he got the side TAC what? counter! Except you just let it happen. He can't be happy about that one. Shell kick to come down though, kills Dormammu. This actually still works out for Eccentric. My god, I can't believe that's ITAC happens. Fireball's almost in the sweet spot, can't quite get there. Okay, though, thing's still looking good. Almost two meters built up. Just gonna try and space things out as the X Factor's extending out on both sides. A great situation for Eccentric here. Yeah, he's built up two meters now. He wants to go on the Astro, he can. And every blocked fireball marks another tick off. No way to regenerate health at this point for Doom. All damage is permanent, and these hurt so bad every single time. Oh, and the cross is the side. Uses the Chun-Li assist as well. Gets the combo, and that should be a dead character. TAC? That, come on, bro. Just because. Just to let him know. Time Ins to watch the movie. Insult to injury. At least it's the Chun Li infinite, right? That's cool. Oh man. Well there you go. Eccentric looking good. Like you said. What are we fading to at that point? Yeah. Hey Omina, you got the same shirt? That's dope, brother. 
Also, El Mine's uh, dope name if it's uh, if it's a Kuriko reference. I just rewatched Kuriko for the tenth time. DXP having to rewatch a Hulk combo for the tenth time though. He's he's been beaten up by enough Hulks, hasn't he? Yeah, I was expecting him to pick some random stuff because he definitely does that sometimes. But you know, he's in it. Yo, Dobby coming through with the five dollar donation to the stream. Thank you so much for the proxy birthday fun. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dobby. Yo, Doja Cow Moon, I'm glad you got the shirt. See, we're not liars. When people win shirts, they get shirts. It just takes like a month and a half. <laughs> Be patient, it's free. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't you don't understand how long these shirts take to make because we get a, we, we can't order in big bulk, uh, in bulk quantities because we're, we're broke and small company. I said Pong F with Kuroko. He should F with Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk's okay. I like Kuroko more, but they're both good. Yeah, I'm more of a Kuroko fan. I'm not going to lie. They're both good 100%. Yeah, though. I have watched both. All right. Come on, TJ. You got two characters on your team. Oh, that's going to be it. No. <laughs> Satellite. Oh, we're closing distance, though. Super Jump Light. Maybe an Execution Error, but that's okay either way. I know, I know DXP is trying to be patient with Strider, but if TJ... He just keeps pressing. Oh my God! DXP said, "I'm gonna dash right here." At the same time, TJ said, "I'm gonna spin in a circle." That is game. Yeah, that's uh, you know, shifty veteran stuff from TJ, recognizing where he's at in the combo too. You know, because of the height, if you don't mash there, the super does connect fully, which is cool. Veteran stuff from a man who's not old enough to drink. <laughs> We always say this about DXP's team, how you deal with the first instance of swords really decides the, the pace of the rest of the match here. You saw Standing Heavy get stuffed there. Standing Medium actually won a one in that instance, funny enough. Is it that much faster? It is uh, 10 frames on the first frame of active versus 16, and then armor starts on frame three. Versus uh, frame 10. Oh no, a Helm Breaker. If he had committed to the S a little earlier, he gets them both. I think he's very happy with this, though, either way. Especially because Hulk is coming in with less than half the health. Oh, he got an accidental back dash. He was trying to push clock there. Lost more health for that. Oh, it doesn't matter, though. We're getting some big boy damage. Oh, yes. It does hit Strider, but Virgil somehow makes it out. I think TJ was trying to go for a delayed DHC, but he waited just a little too long there. Oh, just like that. The mayor coming in last. X Factor just about to run out. The XP correctly just dashing backwards here. Kill that X Factor time. This is going to be hard with Hulk. I mean, Hagar solo. I don't think the XP is going to make the same mistake again where he just dashes into Lariat, right? Right? Right. I think you're right. I think you're right. And great button from DXP on the way down. Oh no, terrible button from DXP, but it works anyway on that one. DJ <laughs> sleep at the wheel, level three, it's gonna land. Oh my God, we're still in it, TJ. This dude is a monster. All right, what's the mix? Oh my God. Okay, just meaty jump light there, does not work out. DXP doing the smart stuff by blocking. All right, keep TJ back here. A little bit of health reduced. Keep chipping him out. This is your last meter, though. Oh, no, that's it. Hagar can't take any more chip. No, and he gets hit by the butter gun while trying to do hoodlum launcher. Oh, he Good was try. committing to the medium one. It looked like there to try and catch him as he was landing. I like the idea a lot, actually. Yeah, I think he just he didn't take a big enough risk with the incoming mix-up, and I can't blame him, you know what I mean? Just... Assuming DXP would backdash. But once you jump as Hagar, you know, people are just going to hold back. They're not generally going to uh, try to dash up after They know the meeting might be coming. So, I'm real. Thank you so much for two years with us. Appreciate the support, the longevity. Oh, dude, Spear Flame all up to the robot. Not a good look for your boy here.
trying to find <laughs> whatever he can at this point. X Factor is available, and that was a sneaky attempt to throw, which actually does hit him with the hard drive. That's an X Factor. We're two mix ups away. Yeah, and that's definitely going to kill there. Oh, no, not enough. Oh, no, use the extra meter. It's okay. Oh, that was it. That was it. Night Moves coming through with the $5 donation to the stream. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Proxy, indeed. Thank you very much. Appreciate you a lot. Okay, this should be it here. He's going to be able to build this meter. No, he's not going to build this meter. And that hits no one, unfortunately. Virgil should be able to capitalize on the punish. Yes, he does. TAC attempt? No, he builds the meter. You're crazy. You are wild. Oh, no. I've been waiting. I've been oh, waiting. Anonymous gifter coming through with a gifted sub for big Asian titties. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh, YouTube editor, please edit that out. Uh, make sure you get a little nice beep on it. <laughs> also, Anonymous, you got to show yourself when you're donating people like that. Come yeah, on. yeah. Don't, don't be cowardly, <laughs> all right? Oh, follow through to take the kill. Strong stuff. DXP. Just foot dives out of the EVO winner. TJ just doesn't jump. Ah, look, I'm just glad my titties can get us a $5 donation, all right? <laughs> <laughs> they found my other ult. <laughs> Double TAC takes two bars away from him. The delayed low is terrifying to have to deal with here. Oh no, and the rocks actually wipe out Hagar. Right though, TJ still has Rocket Punch Assist and X Factor on his side. Oh, just dashes down with, or jumps down with the Lariat. A throw would have been perfect in that situation, but hindsight is 20 20. One hard drive available here. We have best friends on the incoming mix up. Incredible block from TJ. X Factor super jumps, but DXP just jumps and blocks. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> the foot dive gets negated by the armor on the launcher, even though it doesn't hit Doom! Alright, he's a genius. Either that or he is very lucky, but you know what? It's better to be lucky than good, as I say. Oh, okay. Off the air throw, too high for Rocket Punch, but it doesn't matter. We have X-Factor. He actually could have Rocket Punched there because normally on Super Jump you can't, but he got hit Ooh. and then got the air throw, so you're eligible to call the assist even at Super Jump height in those situations. It's all right, though. He still got the kill, but he did have to waste X-Factor for it. But hopefully it doesn't affect him too much here as it is Game 5. Oh, Dr. Doom in a world of hurt. Strider, what can one ninja do against the big bodies? Uh, good attempt at a command throw there. DXP, though, quick to skip backwards. <laughs> Oops, all lows. I love the slide. I love the slide. Over and over with the down forward heavy. They can kill the first character. Three meters committed, though. Yeah, Strider's biggest weakness here, though. X Factor just not lasting long enough for how long it takes Strider to get damage in this, right? So now X Factor does run out, even though he was able to get two hits really quickly. But in this matchup here with no X Factor from either one. Eldero coming through. 15 months. Wishing Proxy a happy birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. We've already seen one level three. Can it happen again? It's gonna be so difficult to be able to thread the needle here. Birds, bombs, everything and in between. Almost has the hit. Not quite there though. Back to neutral. Is this the right approach here? It doesn't do a lot of chip, you know? You might have just wasted three meters, but at the same time, you are pushing TJ's patience, right? And as you have the full health bar, even Hagar can't kill you on one touch. And DXP, bold with the movement. All right, he's back again. See if he can make it work here against B-Blue, IDOM. 
and how often do we really get to see the strange mirror? <laughs> Yeah, it's not that common, but B-Blue is a pretty strong opponent. He might give Idom a run for his money here. Yo, just Antoine coming through, gifting a sub for Chicken Eater. If you're watching this on YouTube, we've been talking about chicken during the break because we are literally eating chicken as we commentate Marvel. But, uh, yeah, let me know what your favorite fried chicken spot is. We're eating PDQ today. I'll just say, if you, if you have a good KFC, KFC is, is a sleeper. That's good fried chicken, actually. I don't like eating KFC in Korea. Is that weird? That's a cheat code. Yeah. <laughs> That's a different world. <laughs> Dark Hold the pickup looking good. X Factor and the complete lockdown. As soon as you see that push block, that purple circle that appears when you push block is like it's the green light to look for the throw. For anybody that does not know, post push block, there is a window where you cannot tech throws. So some of those situations post push block are completely unteckable guard break situations. Oh my god, and the double dash for the hit. It's not, there's not a good chance, but there is a chance. DT running out here, two and a half bars, almost three. People would need a couple crazy hits in a row here. Oh no, and unfortunately, Stinger was a good call there because, okay, so the game theory there is if he blocks it on the ground, Stinger's the only way to maintain a block string, so I really like that a lot. But unfortunately, since it was an air hit, Stinger does not connect for the follow-up. Cute idea there, but unfortunately, not working out the way he wanted. Pull back in the mix, though. Slides on underneath, almost able to take the kill. After the teleport, the TAC is broken. Yo, shout out to the homie Jimmy Caldero coming through with the sub 17 months. That's coach. That's my boy. Shout out. Couple teleports in a row, ends up netting the hit. Doctor Strange, unfortunately, with the X-Factor fully ticked out here. It's looking like another IDOM game right now. Look, if IDOM is playing, very likely it's always going to be an IDOM game. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fair. Magical Mistro, thank you so much. Coming through with us up for the first time. And Fruity Fetus gifting us up to Zen Guppy. Shout out to the home of Fruity Fetus. Doing so much for TNS always. Fetus right, resubscribing with their own subscription, by the way, too, for 46 months. A 42-month streak for Fetus. It's 47 months, by the way. Get it right. I can't read. Get it right. Here we go. The X Factor. Going to finish off B-Blue here. All right, let's see if B-Blue can fight back here. Idom's been pretty dominant. As we know, Idom has been winning all kinds of stuff. I think he just won Guilty Gear Strive at a major recently, right? Yeah, he did. He's playing everything but Street Fighter right now. Hey, listen, you know, Marvel's just one true love. That's true. You said if he could play any game full time, it would be Marvel. Yeah, I mean, Street Fighter, Street Fighter the side chick. Oh, nice pick up there. One of the great things about Strange Assist is it doesn't leave you standing. It's like built for Dante combos. Because like Dante combos gets become such a headache the second the opponent is not standing. DHC is talking flare to get the juggle. And it's the slow juggle too, which is the best possible situation. Gets full charges. And you can even sneak in some pillars in there, get more damage if you know. But he calculated it very well. He spent the whole time on charges instead of trying to get more damage. Oh, that was a missed input potentially. Doesn't matter though. Idom dominating, living up to his name. I feel like Idom is one of those gamer tags you come up with when you're like 14 playing Halo. Absolutely. Yeah, like I dominate these noobs. I'm gonna I'm gonna go by Idom. Yo, Sigano Natsu coming through with a sub two months. You said Friday is the best day on TNS? For sure, I agree too. Ask 
Acid Rain instead of another jam session. What a read from this guy. Mad Lust MV confirmed. That's exactly how Idon made his name. And he lives up to it once again. 3-0, dominating another opponent. All right, let's see it here. Speaking of Giants here, we got Clem Kills coming through with the, uh, you know, well-known Jason Kiddo team. We used to call it the Ramasama team, but, you know, not anymore. Dethroned. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Trying to close the distance here. That's Storm Assist. Obviously a little obnoxious on the ground. Pushes you back pretty far. Multi-hitting assist. Kai Bias wins the Capcom Fighting Evolution TNS. Keep, keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. You might have it, just for funsies. DHC there, Spider-Man no longer long for this world. Storm on the incoming just goes for the dash, but Clem sneaks in with the low, a little too slow though. It's hard to be fast enough with Hagar though. Yeah, the planks are definitely a little bit shorter than your average character. But he can still move, he can keep up with the best of them. If you can press those buttons fast enough for the plank dash, Faster than you think. Only that assist to the Hagar is a scary proposition. Did Storm get shut out there? Yeah, Magneto says just barely hits her. Goes for the tag. I like the idea on trying to stop the super jump with the medium, uh, the medium lightning ball, but unfortunately, Roar is gone. All right, just X23 left here. This is definitely going to be a struggle. The obstacle course for X23. That stuff, Magneto switches sides on Dormammu, switches back, doesn't matter though, Frame Trap ends up catching Dorm. Oh no, he had the kill. Oh, just like that, this might be the end. Maybe could have gone for the super on landing, but there is X Factor on Clem's side. Gets the command throw out of nowhere. All right, Kenny Bill still looking in good shape here. Even though X Factor is out, he can kill Hagar in one touch. Doesn't spend the meter. He wants to save it for the unblockable. On oh my God. Clem is not wanting to pull the trigger there on Lariat. And somehow it corrects itself. That's hilarious. Here we go. Unblockable, but it doesn't matter. Clem gets the throw. I can't believe he stuffed it. Wow. Wakes up mashing like a... I love that. That was amazing. What else can you do? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you can't see her. Might as well match your one frame option. I love it. Good start here for Clem. Getting the dizzy on Kenny Spider. Okay. Just gets him out of the corner. Unfortunately, Storm actually delivers Hagar to Spider Man there. Off the DHC to set up the stalking player incoming here. Gonna keep Dormammu in. Oh, I thought he was gonna check the legs there. And Clem definitely knows when to spin here in this game. So lucky on the bad hitbox. And Hagar's got a weird hitbox on the backside, right? Oh no, missed time to pipe, so X-23 gets to live one more time, and that's gonna catch both! Oh, Finn Pipe getting into a situation where he's able to juggle both, though. Yeah, as strong as Pipe is, people don't realize Pipe is actually one of the worst recovery frames as far as air moves are concerned in the game. Most of the air moves actually cancel and are safe as soon as you touch the ground, but not Pipe. Pipe sucks. It's great, but it sucks. Unblockable situation here as X Factor runs out, but he gets the damage in X Factor still. Player one wins. Hey, Kenny. Out uh, here looking significantly better. Run back. Wow! That was the latest I think I've ever seen that connect the reset into the ultimate web throw. A guaranteed loop to take yeah. out Hagar here. It drops immediately after getting the reset. Picks up the DP, though. Smart stuff. Oh. 
careful. Just close the zip. Tried to speed pass a couple times in a row. Still having to block everything here. All the meter spent. Gets Magneto in. Still no dead character, though. That's all right. As long as you got control of the neutral here. Oh, no. Huge hit there from Spider-Man. Not able to convert, though. And he's just doing his best to prolong this neutral. Recover some help for Storm. Frustrate Clem. I get frustrated just watching Spider Man. Yeah. As a Hulk player, I'm always frustrated. That's my teacher. Oh, great DHC here. Forces X Factor from Clem. Good X Factor from Kenny Bow to try to kill Dormammu, but just does not do enough damage. Yeah, goes for the wrong input there, too. I think Typhoon maybe would have juggled to take the kill. Oh, does he convert off of that? Almost. Kenny with the looking in good shape here. Brings in his healthiest character to eat some of this damage. Oh, what a tricky mix up here on the way down with web ball. All right, Dormammu, can you survive? Oh, oh raw launcher, just so active from Dormammu. Softy player. Trying to be evasive, looking for the chip now. Actually vamps a meter out of him. That is huge. Yeah, Clem Kill definitely giving himself a chance here. Doesn't have any meter right now. But Spider-Man is pretty much ship, help, ship help. Clem Carpet actually perfection now. Inferno for the lockdown. It's a race to one bar right now. Both players have extremely good supers to be able to go for the snipe. Clem just got the health lead there with a little bit of pillar. <laughs> Lightning Spear, another great idea with the projectile, but is able to completely nullify with the damage from that pillar. Yeah, very clutch composure there from Clem Kills to hold it together and get that win, take the lead here. It's gotta be Hulk time. Kenny, if you can hear me. Yeah, we're, we're big Kenny Bow Hulk fans here. I want to see it. Oh, okay, he's going to put the Wolverine on the team instead. Is this a better pick, though? Because I feel like Wolverine has even less options off of throw as an anchor, right? And I do feel like one of the most important things as far as being an anchor is being able to combo from any kind of regular throw. DP was a little too far, ends up finding the throw. Dude, and one of the strengths of the team, just every single hit, Hagar gets something. Trades with Hooligan, though. Oh, and Ice Storm hits both players, or both characters. Builds up a little bit meter for himself, kills Magneto. Kenny Bow's in good shape to tie, tie it up here. Smart DHC, Stockton Flair gonna be able to eat that up. I believe that's three hits out of it. That guy's got pixel health though. He's got to pick up how he calls him. Spear. Charge wherever he can. Inferno actually does hit her and gets her to the ground. Wake up potentially controlled chip. Coming up with the stock and flare is strong. Looks for the punish was a little too late. Kenny Bow trying to make his way closer and closer to Dormammu. Finally gets him, puts Dormammu in the corner. And with the meter he has built up, he might be able to get a kill here. It's going to be close. Oh, it's not even close. Freezes him up right here. Hagar comes in with X Factor. Could just take one spin to win. 
that Wolverine is just too trying to use it like Tatsu, but it's a dangerous game to play. Good on fly from Kenny Bo. Oh no, doesn't matter though. Gets fight on the ground instead. Okay, he's gonna spend his X there instead of trying to spend the meter. And the first time we've seen Hagar meaty jump light work and nobody converts, it doesn't matter though. Pipe snatches him out of the sky. Oh, and Wolverine just comes in swinging buttons because why wouldn't he? I mean, at that point, you do not want to have to be blocking Hagar. I love the mash. Yeah, that was a good choice, especially because Clem's incoming mix-up took a little bit too long there. Went with the Violent Axe option. Hagar doing his best to try to catch Kenny Bo. This is like me trying to catch a spider in my house, man. It's literally what it looks like. You be open your ass like this? Yeah. <laughs> uh, spiders are scary, bro. Listen, I, I just tell my roommate, I'm like, yo, Angel. <laughs> Hit on my light with <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that, and the throw reset from Spider-Man actually missed here. Hagar down the pixel hall. Doesn't matter, though. Spin the win once again. X-Factor to get off Storm. And getting rid of Storm, getting rid of the the, uh, the cornerstone spending a meter for this team. Whoa! Said, what are you doing, young man? <laughs> he would say that. Oh, Inferno hits the assist, calls out the stalking flare, he's able to get the tag afterwards as well. Everything coming up, Clem, but he mashes too hard. That was all heart. Who cares about frame data when you have heart? Okay, pop of the X, be able to make sure we get the kill. No meter left over though. That was a good strategic play until he ran in the Lariat. Oh, and he's not going to be able to convert this for throw, I don't believe. Yeah, DAC in the Chaotic Flame, really a good choice there. Use the Hagar assist to your advantage, and he does. <laughs> oh, another great showing there. Like you said, putting that Lariat in the position it needs to be. Yeah, that was definitely a seesaw-type match there, man. Very close from both players. Clem kills coming out on top. Thank you very much, by the way, to everybody for not only the support to the channel and the support to me, but just, I don't know, for being so cool. Like I said, it's been... Uh, nah, don't give Proxy shit. It's been a really good year, <laughs> and a lot of that is thanks to the people that hang out here, man. So thank you very much. All right, see Will here with the Virgil point. Legend loves this matchup, actually. He doesn't care. He goes pro. He drop shots Virgil. He doesn't care. <laughs> he said Black Ops 6 is here. Master production for laughing. I, I don't play enough Call of Duty to get that joke. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, Cinnamon coming through with the sub. Thank you so much, homie. We miss you, brother. Get my boy. Come through to Chewy's more, dog. It's always nice to see you, man. He comes through every once in a while. All right, all right. Looks for the Molotov there for the knockdown. Temp ends up getting the trade in a kind of ridiculous way. I'm loving the idea. Living legend. That's going to be the kill, actually. Dude, he makes Chris look so... I hate watching players like him because he makes me believe in Chris. What do you he mean makes like me him? Think, he makes me think I can do it. What do you mean like him? Elaborate. Low tier here. Okay. Mr. Battlebeard coming through with the sub. Thank you so much. Another Friday night of legends going nuts on Chris. You know it. That you drop out the Midwesterners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We love Living Legend here. Big time fans. Maybe today's the day. Dude, that would be the greatest gift I could have ever received for my birthday. It would be a legend. Of oh, maybe you should have wished for that when you uh, blew out your candles, huh? <laughs> oh. Get the reset though. Should be able to secure the kill off of this one. Looking good. Yeah, thank you, Magnus, coming through with the three months of subs. I don't know if those last QQs are uh, pronounced or not. Oh, X Factor gives him a look on the block there. Really smart. Oh, so much fear there. But the Hadoken gets punished? This ain't Street Fighter. I was punished on hit.
Oh, over commits a couple times in a row, and Legend, you can't give him openings like that. He's going to blow it wide open. Oh, misses the last one, though. Magneto's still alive here, and he might have a chance. He's got enough meter for sure. Chris okay. got extra health, but this should kill nonetheless. Wesker's going to have to eat this incoming, too. Oh, wow. He got what he was looking for, but the trade afterwards. Good match from Legend. Oh, man. Dude, he almost turned the mistimed jump light into a miracle. That was so close. That was close. All right. People in the chat said they want to see you eat cake, brother. So, uh, production, can you slice up a couple small pieces of cake? I'll do it. Well, yeah, we got an ad break after this anyway. So, if you guys... Uh, <laughs> If you guys are sub, you get to watch. <laughs> if you want to see it. <laughs> there you go. Another clean touch. Man of the trench coat not long for this world once again. Jesus. Man, Legend is, was the leading Sea Will. Oh, yeah, he's still continuing. Unfortunate for Sea Will there. Just landing into the flame grenade. What? Another drop? Oh, he gets away from the grenade, though. That's a level three. After the gravity squeeze. He does get him pushed to the corner, too, so it's better control. It's a weaker mix-up, but I think the control is more important here. Yeah, the pressure was on there, but Legend able to escape the corner. Seawill's X-Factor running out. Might just be a matter of time here. He will try to play a game of cat and mouse. Unfortunately, he just became the mouse. He's getting blown up. <laughs> blown up mice? <laughs> How else do you catch mice, bro? <laughs> oh, dude. Lemon everything is underrated. Right off the rip. Yo, top 16 losers once again. This time, hey, Lint Liquor? Who is Lint Liquor playing Dormammu May Cry? <laughs> Yo, big shout out to Odyssey 01, by the way, with the $60 contribution to the match for Reno. <laughs> Battlebeard with the best description of my condition I've ever read. His stomach is generally intolerant. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I see what you said about frogs. <laughs> or turtles. <laughs> oh, no. Virgil, no chance to fight this one out. He's cooked. Oh no, that's not supposed to work on double jump characters. Lit Liquor, you just got a double jump. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, just doesn't send it the way they need to. Gets cooked up for the trouble. I was going to ask who is Lit Liquor, but I don't think it's going to matter. Maybe? Maybe I spoke too soon? It's the uh, it's what that one woman called the, the other girl in that Trident commercial that one time, right? Oh, back in the day? Talk Orbit. About. Orbit. It was Orbit. The dirty mouth. You out here remembering commercials from the 90s? Ah, listen, I got a memory for things that don't matter. <laughs> Ramu, once again, not really getting to participate on this one. First brother. Maybe going to the same fate here. Looks for the command though, but it's a little too early. It's too eager. And the DHC is going to do more than enough here. TJ still dominant here in game two. Oh no, that worked. I have not seen that hit somebody in a long time. Wake up with the button though. As long as it works, you look like a genius. And level four. I still don't understand why he has this and why he combos after. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. Virgil needs it. Sentinel. They should give Sentinel double trigger. They should. He deserves it. Yo, Rel FGC coming through with a gifted sub for a Kumquat. Whatever that is. That's like a food, no? I don't know. TJ up 2-0 to zero right now and starting game three with just the big heavy button. Oi, standing heavy, gets the hit on Dormammu, gets cooked up 
gets cooked up again. Dormammu it just has not been able to participate in the slightest so far. And Dante more of the same. Like you said, the double jump character should be able to handle that mix, but... And then the commando to follow. He's hitting him with everything in the kitchen sink. Factor pop, assist can be back just in time. Tries to go for the air dash and actually does work out. So a clean hit on Hulk here. Gonna kill the rest of the X Factor time. Able to get the kill here. Much better situation than expected off of this one. Oh, he might make this comeback happen. Oh, that might be a wrap. Maybe could have level three there actually through the gap. Potentially, that block stun definitely looked pretty tight there. Oh no! Max damage on play, Pligeon loops. Oh, should be able to get chipped out of here if Lintlicker plays his cards right. Can't stand there against that forward medium too long though. He might try to how to fake you out and get into a command throw instead. Oh, with Punish coming into a favorable matchup now, I would say. Dash is underneath, but you gotta know the Lariat is coming. It's not favorable if you get hit by Lariat. I love that combo round. <laughs> Pipe and the body splash. TJ takes it three to zero. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of work. Clem kills back up though, and we have Spiral and Bracket, and I'm just now seeing him for the first time today. Oh, and I'm probably seeing him for the last time today. Oh, Try to look for the reset here. Jumping medium connects a couple times in a row, but was too high for the full follow-up. She thought he had time to convert that. I was a little scared. Okay, instead it's gonna be a DHC, potential for tag back, but instead it's just gonna keep getting those charges. Yeah, once Spyro gets full screen and gets going. Oh, but we've got our own Dormammu, but the pillar interrupts Chaotic Flame. Oh, Meteor saved the day. For the predictions with the pillar. Yeah. Doesn't answer too much. Too far, but is able to convert it into a mix up there. Situational. Really high fight IQ from this guy to be able to turn that into a mix up. Uh, Spyro is so good with his team, man. It's definitely second nature. Hagar into the forbidden matchup. Have to go for the DHC. Super smart. Jumps to X Factor there to keep Stalking Flare alive. Really good choice. And Stalking Flare was still there. Clem Kills forgot about it. Oh, really good from Clem, though. Get rid of Dante there. Kill on the assist. Double teleport. Actually tries to go same side there. Maybe she was just fully committed and looks for, honestly, kind of a sick confirm, but the Shuma laser is just a hair too short. One kills, running out of health here. And just with Hagar left, this is not looking good for our boy. Let's go ahead and give it up, man. Oh, never mind. we're just getting started. What am I talking about? Yo, shout out to the homie Rafi Toro coming through with the sub. 53 months here. As Spiral takes the first game. I was gonna say, damn near my birthday twin. Shout out to you, bro. Always good to see you. Yeah. Nice. I saw you on Instagram out there living your life, man. Having a good time with your girl. Shout out to you, man. Appreciate you a lot. Look at Rafi Toro with the founder's bag, bro. 53 months sub. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure only 50 people, it's 50 or 25 people have those. The first 25 or 50 subs in this game. I think it's the first 25. 25? Yeah. Crazy. I have one. Dash underneath, definitely clean. Tries to check with the low, good block from Clem. Oh, great lariat there to stop. 
Oh, but the Dark Hole interrupts the combo. Hey, Showing off how smart he is. Not only good X-Factor timing to actually stop himself from getting punished, but the turnaround with the command throw in the air to save himself in the first place. I think he's still blocked the same way. Plink's just not fast enough right now. But his Lariat is definitely more than fast enough. You're still thinking about the blocking direction, aren't you? <laughs> Get out of claim! <laughs> I see your head spinning. <laughs> There's smoke coming out of my ears, dog. I'm sorry. I don't commentate like this often, Tong Lee. <laughs> Super to get punished, absolutely. Gonna match. Oh, not matching quite well enough here. Cooks them up and look at the red life on both these characters coming in. Yeah, Hagar is basically done here. Not going to be able to survive much longer. Didn't even make it to Pillar. Yep. And the teleport with Jam Session. More than enough. Damn, Spiral. What a fun player to get to win. Spiral's such a treat, man. Nah, I'm a big Spiral fan. I don't get to see enough Spiral. Wow! The happy birthday off of the jam session. Actually ridiculous. Does that eye, do those pick up both? It does. Hey, hey, today's your birthday. Today's his birthday. No, unfortunately, all birthdays dropped right now. Sir Slush, thank you so much for coming through with the sub. Four months with us. Oh, we're really trying to kill Shuma right now. And we get the job done. We get a good amount of damage onto Amamu as well. Clem taking the advantage here. Oh no, no chance to block that at all. Teleport right into empty dash low. A charge tries to hit with the jump, the rising jump leg, excuse me. Back into Hagar. He goes leg drop on the mix up and ends up finding a throw anyways. That was a hell of a sequence. Uh, Clem's got such great instincts as a Hagar player. I wonder sometimes if he'd be better served if he was playing other characters to complement Hagar. Wow, and then the clean touch here. It says Hagar be damned. It's Magnus. I was actually nervous about if that was going to kill. Not quite enough, but he still stands him up to get chipped by Lariat. Clem putting himself on the board here, not going out without a fight. Like I said, we saw Clem earlier on the stream losing a match, and, you know, he's pretty close to losing this one, but that doesn't speak to how good Clem actually is. We've seen Clem play plenty of nights where he is just bodying opponents left and right. So. Yeah, you have to remember how stacked these brackets are, and Clem is one of the play one of the few players that can say they've made a top eight in these types of brackets. Yeah, now, Clem has got, like, love watching the Hagar. It was fun while... You know, while it lasted. <laughs> Dude, crazy confirmed from Spiral to fix that. And he's able to get the tag, but luckily, the Master of Magnetism barely avoids the OTG. He's able to live to fight another day. Going straight into level three here? He must have a game plan. Right, using Disruptor to pick that combo up. Smart, jumping to block the stalking player, the best thing you can get. Is Santa Medium so goofy? Why is his eyeball turning to teeth? I don't know, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any uh, anatomy classes on Shuma's. <laughs> Oh, almost combos auto lock into the S. They didn't meet him twice in a row. Obviously a very good anti-air button, but too far. Lucky to not get happy birthday there. Old block saves the day. Weird body Shuma gets hit by the first hit of Fishhook, but the way he reels backwards puts him way too far for the crouching light. 
but Clem immediately learns and goes for the straight to the crouching heavy this time. Oh, another TAC there. Got double TAC, but pops out of the chaotic flame. Right, Shock like catches it. Right, Clem should be able to tie it up here. There's no way, right? There's no way. There's no way, right? There's no way, right? There's no way. It's looking like there might be a way. Yeah, teleport again. Keep teleporting. Just be careful. Don't get too predictable with it. Oh, and able to dash under and catch Dormammu. There's no way. <laughs> oh, it's looking like there might be a way, though. There's no way, right? There's no way. Oh, Clem. Just needs that one hit. Yeah. There was no way. As soon, as soon as he committed that second air action, the shockwave, good instincts. All right, Clem pushing it to a game five. He said, I ain't going out like no punk bitch. We got this. Okay, eyeballs applied, goes for the tag actually. He just prefers the matchup here with Dante. He can just go hysterics. The missile's obviously very, very strong, as well as the crystal. A good preemptive anti air. Oh, I don't think Dante has the best projectile game, especially compared to some of the other characters. I think he has great defensive projectiles, but that don't work if you dash up and get hit by Lariat. Great X Factor from Clem here. Take care of business right away. Playing carpet, spaced out perfectly. He has to come down on it. No, teleports out. Whoa. Somehow able to get the pipe to reach and get the ground bounce. Not a full combo, but still half health. Okay, just in time to punish here. He is going to spend the X-Factor. I was just about to say it wasn't too consequential. Oh, sick combo here off the X-Factor conversion as well. I thought he whiffed for a second. We're just serving up crouch mediums. Okay, the standing medium this time, but unfortunately the combo regulates a little too high. Super connects and takes the kill. Shockwave to get Magneto in. One mix potentially to do it. Character everybody knows Spiral 4 has to be the one to be the hero. Shockwave knocks him down, but it's not enough to kill. Oh, but a couple EM disruptors will be enough. Three bars, but no way to spend it. Clem is going to move forward in the bracket. Idom and LT are both world class. They could beat anyone. Yeah, they're both, they're <laughs> both beating you, Kenny Bo. So I'm not. I don't think we overhype. We overhype you. Those are those are two players that could be, that on, uh, on depending on the day could beat anyone. I'd be like Kenny Bo could you know fix global warming all the time. I don't know why this. So, somebody said I like BLT over LT. I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> Stupid. Talking about LT? What do you mean overhyping LT? You be overhyping the guy that got top six at Evo. Just casually. One, two combo breakers. Casually overhyping arguably the, the best active player currently. Yeah. Wins the majority of the TNSs. I'm trying to see that Kenny Bow versus LT money match. All right. Priest looking good here with a Modoc. Tokyo playing some cheap stuff here. I love seeing new players play cheap stuff. I don't, I don't, is this a new player? I don't feel like they're a new player. They made it a top 16 winner side. They don't have to be called new anymore. I only say new player because I was informed that uh, they play a bunch of the Rise of Rookie stuff. Two shots, obviously Rise of Rookies. If you guys don't know, especially to the YouTube audience, make sure you guys check them out. If you're interested in getting back into Marvel or starting Marvel for the first time, that is one of the best places to go 100%. You set up that big Dorito just to walk in front of it and get hit. Not a fan. Yeah, Sonic Blaster trying to control the ground as best you can. Jab for the anti air, but doesn't commit. Doesn't matter though. Crouching Heavy finds a mark. Gonna end up snapping, which is definitely the right call when you have the brother here. Oh, stuff swords? 
Priest just looking too strong with the lockdown, able to get the corner pressure with the toes. Yo, Dr. Church coming through, gifting a sub to Rice Boy 83. I was born in 85, actually. Priest looking strong there. That looked like OG Priest right there. I was going to say, he's taking it back. That's why he changed the name. <laughs> I watched that no more. Raw tag right off the rip. I'm thinking it's got to be an executionary here because Dante on point into the missiles with Magneto when you have zero. Yeah, I don't think anybody means the hard tag zero out. Okay, Rabbit Slash actually pushes him a little bit too far. Missiles on the way down. That was a good timing for the raw tag back in though for Tokyo. Okay, air hit on the jump heavy. Actually ends up not quite converting, but that's okay. Game session blocked. The freeze gets away. Okay, he was looking for the rising jump light there, but obviously Priest is very smart. Blocks the first to the jam session crouching, so he's not in a situation for a fuzzy. Ray Modoc definitely in a good idea. Magneto's running out of health anyway. This time Tokyo decides to bring out Virgil. Yeah, I love that confirm so much. That's so sick. Oh, crossed underneath. Very sneaky stuff there. Tries to actually beat up the auto lock with a normal. I'm not sure if you can cancel that. Uh, preemptive DAC here from Tokyo. I guess he was worried about the priest DAC, huh? Mm -hmm. The Dorito tries to go for the air to air. Tokyo beats him clean. That's one place that Modok is absolutely not touching zero. Oh, drops the beginning of the loop there, though. Letting Priest out with pixel help. Almost 20 seconds left in the match here. Priest hasn't lost a character yet. Back is good. Look for the crouching heavy. Couldn't get the cross up that was in the corner. Didn't want to commit to the command movement. Oh, and the missiles come down as Tokyo finally lands a hit. Or gets interrupted. Trying to lose zero for it. Dante with very little time left. Dante's going to need a miracle at this point. Dude, and that overhead. The flippers. <laughs> yeah, time running out here. We're going to finish with four characters still alive. Freeze coming out on top. <laughs> Timer better is about to be in shambles. I feel like people only do that at events. A zero equal even wins? I feel like zero is neither even or odd. I feel like that's a draw. That's a push. Yeah, that's a push for sure. You got to go to your next game for that. <laughs> there can be only one winner. Go for broke. Fight! <laughs> good to see you, buddy. Fireball game, looking for the chip. Really good damage to start off here. Epitomizer said, yo, Tong, <laughs> and the indentured servant he cast with. Bro, he's not an indentured servant. Indentured servant means he gets paid. <laughs> oh, boy. Finally, clean confirm for Magneto. I feel like it's been all neutral and just a lot of like nickel and dime hits. Oh man, and the Dorito actually blocks the hammer. Yeah, that's why Crash Light was able to hit so quickly there. Crazy block on layer one there from Tokyo, but unfortunately layer one is not what matters. It's the six afterwards. Oh, 
Somehow ended up on the other side. Was able to block, but pushed X Factor and got hit for it. Priest coming out on top. Goes to top eight winner's side. As we get on to the Idon versus Escalante match. He plays the Strider a little more. I like it, actually. I hate it. Okay, we get away from Volcano, so that's all right. The Strider might pay off here. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> Interesting interaction here. Buddy in 420 said he parks when he stretches. That's reasonable, actually. You get to move around a lot of your, uh, you know, your gut there. It's actually really good for you. That means that you're probably a little too sedentary during your uh, work day. So make sure you uh, you get up every couple of hours, do some squats, do some air squats. You listen to Dr. Tom and one of two cuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were cut the call in show. I thought he was going to get the throw on his own. Escalante looked like he was going to get the grip there. All right, able to get the throw and finish off Escalante here. We'll see if Escalante Strata can get anything going. Obviously doesn't normally play Strider on this team, but normally the Magneto. Yeah, he's toast. Oh my god, we didn't even we didn't even connect the combo. It doesn't matter. Escalante going to character select sure on Oh no, he's gonna stay. Oh, Trade actually knocked missiles out of the, out of the game for quite a while. Has to spend the X Factor so he doesn't get hammered. Bub just asked, do all characters have air throws? Yes, all characters have a standard air throw and a ground throw. There's just heavy and a direction, but it also option selects. Dying oh. Blades coming through with the sub 13 months. What are you gonna say, Proxy? I was just gonna say that's one thing we talk about a lot, though. Not all throws are created equal. There's a lot of difference between them. Yes. Uh, some throws are more easy to convert. Uh, some characters can't convert throws by themselves. Some can do it with an assist, and some can't do it at all, no matter what. Thanks, Hulk. <laughs> Shout out. Hulk can actually convert his ground throw, but you have to have an assist that preemptively OTGs it. It's so weird. That's the Jan round start uh, Shuma assist. <laughs> Shuma, rocket punch can do it if you if you time it, but it's very weird. Missiles can do it. Oh, Nemesis can help him win it as well. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah. Character still sucks, though. Absolutely. Volcano, no beehive. Acid Rain just plinks around underneath him. I like the idea. Blocks and gets the punish. Oh, but doesn't get the full conversion there. Launcher hits him too high. Oh, yeah, if you dash with heavy, you get that a lot. But he's able to get the max distance confirmed. That's so smart. He was so far. If he did anything but crouching medium stinger, that whips. Oh, that was genius stuff from Idom. Expect nothing less here. Good delay, too. It's another one where if you push the H too early, uh, Helmbreaker or potentially Killer B will also whip. A lot of timing related stuff you have to do with Dante combos. He's so particular. That's part of what's so impressive about watching players do well with Dante in these uh, situations. Is this character's combos, the, the flow chart you have to remember of what goes where to make his combos work optimally is unbelievably long. I don't look like it might be a 3 0 right now. Okay, and he lands the TAC. Dude, this might be over. Yeah, Escalante, go ahead and push pause, brother. We're gonna go ahead and need you to log off. Let me say, can Doom convert a super jump height forward throw? Uh, it depends on the height and if he's an X Factor, but just no X Factor at super jump height, no. Also, if you pre-dashed, uh, if you use the dash before you, uh, before you got the throw, mm -hmm. that makes a difference. 
I think. In the corner, you can just press S. Full, ca full schedule can seem to do it any time. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't care. All right, Living Legend, King Carlos, both of these guys trying to make their way in the top eight here. Kaiba, you said your favorite match is F Champ versus uh, Infrit. I actually got to watch that match live. Shout out to Evo 2012. Legend got the Akuma out. Looking the DHC out potentially. Yeah, there we go. And catches Viper in midair. And Carlos already showing his card, showing that he's willing to mash there. Oh, it doesn't matter though. Living Legend still finds his way in with the crouch medium. Oh, and dashes up with the crouch light against zero. That's gonna kill him. Carlos just left with a half health doom here. Legend looked like he's about to wrap up this first game. No problem. I'm talking about Senior Taxi in the chat? That dude was godlike. He beat my boy full schedule once. I laughed. Back to Doom, X-Factor went up to try to throw West. Oh my God, the projectile counter, but doesn't work out. Actually gets punished for it, King Carlos. Might have a chance at a comeback here. Uh, not able to convert the hit on incoming against Akuma. X Factor slowly fading away. I like that super choice there. Burn out the rest of the X Factor from Carlos. And Legend able to convert off the last hits of the super. Carlos wasn't ready. Damn, Ramor, you talking about Mihei? Mihei was godlike. He was one of the zero godfathers. Ready? Now, I really like the idea of X factoring against Zero here. As King Carlos doesn't have a traditional anchor, I think it's a really good choice. Force the X factor there, otherwise, we're going to run into the counter super from Wesker. That actually pays off for Carlos. Carlos able to quickly tie it up here, not get the incoming though, and gets just the back end of the Tatsu. No! And with all this meter built up, this should be the end. Oh no, drop? Surprising. Doesn't matter though. Hadoken catches, keeps him in block stun. And once again, Dr. Doom coming out here. Oh, but this time, just H foot dive. Everything just works out. That should be just enough damage here from the level three. No, not quite. Chip out. Went for the super instead of rocks. Allows the hard tag there. Oh no, jump medium somehow catches Akuma. Legend not ready with the super or the up block. Chris is coming in with basically no health here. Carlos could back off. No, he decides to go back in with the try dash. Imagine quick to block though. All right, Legend picks whole health now. Three meters though, he can pop this invincible level three super. Doesn't get a chance to. Player one wins. If only it was Richard that lied before me instead of me. Ready? Fight! Oh, 
Oh, Carlos able to catch Legend quick here in game three. Moving in with a zero. We've snapped an Akuma before. It hasn't really worked out. I mean, Akuma is definitely a problem. But it may not always be worth it. I genuinely think Legends Wesker just does not get talked about enough. I feel like he's gonna, no, nope, he's gonna get hit instead. Oh, maybe we don't need to talk about it. I think this is still a good win here, but the drop doesn't matter though. Coming down with the pizza. Drops it right on Wesker. He's gonna be able to kill Wesker. And then Akuma has to come in as a second character instead of the anchor. So this is a win for Carlos. Just don't drop here. We might even see an X-Factor 2 here, potentially. Now it does not connect there on the super. It gets the hard tag. It takes a bunch of damage. Legend actually able to convert that for full combo into another super. And Flamethrower does so much damage. All right, incoming mix-up in Carlos's favor. Decides to back off and just projectile all day. It's definitely the right choice since Legend does not have X-Factor on his side. Doesn't have any backup characters. Just force him to eat the chip. He might be able to get zero. And he does. Quick little pistol. One super is all it takes. Carlos able to jump ahead here in this set. Two to one. Chow Main said, every time Legend loses to a zero, a Marvel player's cholesterol goes up. Yeah, it's Legend's cholesterol. It's definitely going up. He needs to be able to attack from the appropriate angles here. If Legend doesn't get to control the neutral from the diagonal. It's definitely bad. King Carlos playing zero. He can kind of attack from any angle. Legends options definitely a little bit more limited. Yeah, missiles comes to interrupt that, but he still got the job done where he needed to, and I feel like Wesker does give him more options there, but eats the buster on the super. Lucky TAC break there. He definitely needed that. Gotta, you gotta stop teleporting in the blocks then. You're blocking against zero. You're bound to get hit eventually. Yeah, teleports to get hit by the jump heavy on the way down. That's not good. One down, two more to go for King Carlos. Lightning does strike, but not able to convert there. Legend with one more chance, potentially. Uh, not able to convert off the missiles, though. Giving Legend another chance here. Carlos needs to close this out. And zero goes down there as an assist. This is definitely a more manageable matchup here for Legend. Both of these players just being as cautious as possible. 
Oh, not cautious enough though. Legend gets the air throws. Carlos gets too close. Yeah, looking like he might leave him down just to the anchor here. Has his own X-Factor in two meters for the mix-up here. He's gonna spend the X to save more meters. He wants this mix-up, but I feel like he could have got the mix-up without better X. Doesn't matter though, he gets the hit, so he gets to be called a genius for this game. There you go, the super to cook it up. That's actually gonna even up the set to game five. Yeah, that was a close one there. Legend was definitely behind early on in this game, but uh, making it back up. We're all right, we're living. Second before he goes back in. Oh, slow things down. I think about a character. Uh, but nope. Straight back in. I mean, he just won, too, so you really can't switch anything. Sometimes he just switches colors. That's true. Oh, right away with the shotgun. Finds the lockdown. Looks for the throw. Great jump. Burn kick, the perfect way to pick that up. Unfortunate drop combo in the afterwards, but that's okay. This is a lot closer match than expected, considering that Legend is a four to one favorite in the sports book here, the TNS sports book. Which is our bookie. Couple good fireballs in a row to be able to get that chip damage down. God, chip on one side and chunks on the other. Looking really good for Legend here. He's gonna go for the DHC, doesn't get the hit. Actually gets the tag from Carlos. His detriment though, maybe. That is gonna be an X Factor from Legend. I like this decision a lot. Yeah, and especially because Zero has very little health. He's gonna come in, eat a couple gunshots potentially and get chipped out. Committing your X-Factor, committing potentially your tournament life to this zero. Missiles do help save the day. Well, at least he didn't X-Factor for no reason, right? He was able to get Wesker on this exchange. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. No, but he went for a command throw. He was still in block stun because he was push blocking. Oh, so close to being chipped out. Could have just shot him. Wow, cute idea on the medium lightning as well. I was able to find the cross up here. Oh, and he kills with the infinite here, so he builds a really good amount of meter. All right, Akuma, time to guess for your life. Oh, and unfortunately, there's no guessing against the unblockable. Oh, Carlos has the TAC there. He wasn't going to build enough meter. He does get it off here, and he builds one meter here. He can super. This is going to kill. It does. Carlos is going to be able to keep it pushing. Like I said, let's see if he can uh, come off this victory. Turn it into something here at TNS. Tough customer in TJ, though, man. Yeah, I mean, both of these guys have gone back and forth. I think Escalante might have taken it the last time, though. My memory is fast. These guys have definitely traded some wins. Yeah, I think Escalante has the has the overall set count, but TJ's gotten a couple of the recent ones. TJ had it where it mattered the most at CEO. And that was a 3-0. That was a body back and that shell kick might get blown up there. Perfect with the gamma crush. Oh, but that doesn't hit anybody. X Factor too early. Now he's gotta hold this. And Sentinel, I mean, especially with no meter, no way to really clear the screen. Finds a throw, though. Oh, gets big damage here on Dr. Doom. Oh, just roll launcher to smack Morgan. Okay, with missiles coming, gonna go for the drain here. Looks like we got the setup for it. No, just gonna go into that grounded fireball pattern. Oh no. Block stun city, chip damage all day. Now we lose Hagar. Now once this happens here and you have to come in against this team, yeah, it's, it's not good. Oh no, but he sat there for too long. 
to demur. <laughs> Is it demur? Demure? Demure. Too mindful. Too mindful. I don't know that word, bro. I just learned that word this week. I was like, well, what are people talking about? Oh, yes, my favorite assist, the anti-air gamma charge. You already know. That's a Tongli classic. Oh, Gamma Quake. I mean, definitely a good idea. Escalante's movement a little too clean to get out of that one, though. Oh, that might be it. No, the drones. Doesn't matter. Try it again. Yup. <laughs> Somehow, TJ is turning this around. It should not be possible, to be perfectly honest. This Hulk, yeah, this is this Hulk with no neutral assist. I'm kind of nervous for Escalante right now. Why does he feel like he's behind? He oh! is behind! <laughs> oh my god, maybe that's why. And with the Gamma Crush, that should take care of Dr. Doom there. And somehow, TJ pulls off a miracle here in game one with seconds to spare. And imagine your girlfriend laughing laughing at you losing in chat, bro. Couldn't be me. I wouldn't even tell my girlfriend I played this game. Why do Marvel players always have the most abusive girlfriends making fun of them when they play? Oh my god. Unluck. Oh no. She's definitely laughing now as Escalante is getting slapped up. Ow! Damn, it takes the kill. Set up for the mid screen. Oh, okay. Crosscut DP, what's up? Oh, he's about to get blown up. Still about to get blown up. Oh, trades with the spear flame. Yeah, multi hits came out way earlier than I thought they would. The DHC keeps them completely safe. I thought he was going to get jabbed there. Gets the hit anyways, though. QC Sports asks, what's a girlfriend? That's when you don't get to play Marvel anymore. <laughs> oh, no. What a great violent axe there for the cross-up. TJ playing like he ain't got a girlfriend. <laughs> he got the hours in. There you go. Nice kill. These are single combos, all right? <laughs> Jay McSpass coming through with the sub. Thank you so much. Three years with us. So woo violence? Uh, we only promote violence within the game, right? <gasps> oh, and we're gonna just Gamma Charge all the way to the corner. Gamma Crush does hit both. And the DHC is definitely gonna take out Morgan as well. This is all over. Yes, sir. <laughs> Once again, the anti-air Gamma Charge assist. Coming through, creating that incoming mix-up. Yep, and DHC's early before the Sentinel Super pushes him too far away. Clean stuff. No one beat Hulk today.